Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to deal with uh, some questions under dimension analysis. So in case you are looking for an introduction to dimension analysis or you want to know more about the dimension analysis, or maybe you need some basic information about this topic, you can just check in the description. I'll put a link that to help you, the link that you can click on and then watch the video on uh, the basics and the foundations of uh, dimension analysis. All right, in case you can't uh, see the link in the description, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen. And then I'll send you the link and you enjoy the video and learn something, of course. All right, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, feel free to uh, click on the uh, notification button and the subscription button there so that every time I post um, a video on YouTube you'll be able to see it all right so let's quickly move on to the questions so the questions that we are discussing are very simple so dimension analysis dimension analysis on its own it's very simple it's a very simple topic no one should lie to you that it's difficult yeah so what you just need to know um, the basics of um, the same topic. If you know the basics, you can solve any question. All right, so let's quickly uh, begin to solve this question. The question says, um, suppose the displacement of the object is related to time according to the expression x is equal to b squared. What are the dimensions of b? So they're telling us to say the displacement, which is uh, denoted by x in this case, so the displacement is related um, to the time according to the expression b t squared. So this is the expression that um, relates the displacement and the time. And we've been asked to find the dimensions for b. So I'm trying to look for the dimensions for b. So like I said in the introduction to dimension analysis, um, you need to know the basic units of um, the SI units of um, um, most quantities for you to be able to derive some dimensions of um, um, any of any letter or any variable that has been given in a question. Yeah, so we need to know what are the dimensions. For displacement or what are the SI units for displacement what are the dimensions for displacement so X so displacement is denoted by X in this case the dimension for displacement is L and then we also need to know the dimension for what for B so do we know B it's the one that we're looking for and then we also need to know the dimension for T so dimension for T which is time is simply just calculator t. So now, how do we find the dimensions for b in this question? So you get the same expression. So I'm going to write this expression here. Let me just demarcate here. So I have x is equal to, and then b t squared. So now, what you need to do is to make b the subject of the formula for you to make your work easier. So if you make b the subject of the formula, you're going to have uh, okay, so this is done by dividing t squared on both sides. So this and that cancels, meaning you are going to remain with, um, let me just write it properly here. So if you cancel out the t squared here, you're going to have x over t squared is equal to b. So let me just write this statement or this equation starting with b because um, I'm trying to make b the subject. So we have x over t squared. So now let us put in the dimensions for uh, the dimensions that we found here. So we have x, the dimension for x is what? Is capital letter L in square brackets. And then over uh, the dimension for t here, we have uh, t squared in square brackets like that. So when you find this or when you reach here, you are almost done with the question, but what you just need to do is to take t on top, yeah, and 
if you remember in mathematics, um, when you have any, any number, if you have, uh, let me say for instance, if you have 1 over a, a, this expression can be written as a to the power negative 1. So if you have b over a, we can write this as b a to the power negative 1. If you have 1 over 2, this can also be written as 2 to the power negative 1. If you have 3 over 2, you can write this as 3. Of course, this should be in brackets. Then you have 2 to the power negative 1. You also put that in brackets. All right, so this is what we're going to do to this expression here. We're going to take t on top there, meaning we have our b being equal to l in brackets. Then we have t to the power negative 2 there. So these are the dimensions for b. Yeah, so these are the dimensions for b. Okay, so in the in the unit uh, format, you can write this as, um, you know that length is measured in meters, the SI units. If you want, you can write this as, um, we know that the length is measured in meters, so you can write this as meters. And then you have second, because time is measured in second, so second what? Uh, to the power negative two. Or you can just simply say meters per second squared. Yeah, so sometimes they can also ask you what uh, quantity uh, B is. So this is uh, simply acceleration. Yeah, so this is acceleration, the one that is measured in meters per second squared. All right, so I don't know if you have any questions, but please, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen here. Yeah, so you can reach me out on WhatsApp or even just a direct call. If you need um, extra lessons in physics, math, chemistry, feel free to contact me uh, using uh, these same uh, contacts on the screen. And in case you have any questions, feel free to also um, inbox me on WhatsApp with these, um, I mean, using these uh, lines on the screen. All right, so see you in the next tutorial video where we're going to solve the next question. Uh, on dimension analysis and also perhaps mathematics. Okay.